Hi, thanks for having a look at this presentation. I hope that wherever you are, you're safe and well. It seems like a pretty straightforward question for today's presentation. How should we pray to God? It might seem really simple, but if you were to type how to pray into Google, like I did, you would get about 926 million results. If you get more specific and add how to pray to God, it reduces the results by two thirds down to about 299 million. So clearly a lot of people have a lot of opinions on this subject. I'm not going to give you much of my opinion here today what I will do is tell you and show you what the Bible says. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus is teaching his followers. From verse 9, Jesus says, and this is from the New American Standard Bible, he says, Pray then in this way. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. A very well-known passage this is known as the lord's prayer and it provides anyone who's interested with a guide or a template about how we should pray there's lots of different ways that this can be broken down and analyzed possibly millions but for today we're just going to keep it really simple Hallowed be your name is about praise and worship to God. Your kingdom come, your will be done is praying for God's will to be done here on the earth. Giving our, give us our daily bread is praying for yours and for others day to day needs. This next one is about confessing our sins and asking for forgiveness. This is, however, conditional on the fact that we're prepared to and really do forgive others in our own lives. And the final one here is where we ask for safety, protection from harm, and if we're in trouble, for deliverance from it. This prayer ends with more praise and acknowledgement of God. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And that's it. The basic template of how we can pray, left by Jesus for anyone who's interested enough to have a look in their Bible. There is, of course, a whole lot more to prayer than just this. I mean, think about the fact that God has bothered to give us a way that we can talk to him. The Bible tells us that God wants us to pray and to develop a relationship with him. The Bible also tells us that God is in control of this crazy world and that he has an incredible plan for the future. If this is something that interests you, please get hold of a Bible and have a look for yourself. If you have any questions, you can email us at knowyourbibleoz at outlook.com and you can check out our website as well for more information. That's knowyourbible.com.au. Thanks a lot for listening.